Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I am going to show you how to do this little loopy stitch, a crocheted loopy stitch. Now I've made myself a little child's bonnet here. I've still got a little ribbon to tie it on. I've still got a little ribbon to put in around my edge. But the tutorial is on this beautiful little loopy stitch. Once you learn how to do this easy little stitch, you can make a whole load of pretty, pretty things. Now, this is just a basic baby bonnet. And instead of doing a fancy stitch here, I've just done the loopy stitch on it. And then I've put in some crochet ribbon. I've just crocheted in some ribbon in around the edge of my hat. Now, it just shows you how pretty this stitch is and how adaptable it is. Now, you can make large squares and you can make rugs with this if you use a thicker yarn. You can make squares and make cushion covers. You can actually adapt this into a pattern for a crochet jacket as well. If you put this little loopy stitch into like a baby's jacket it's really nice and compact it's nice and warm and it's a really really easy stitch to do even on the inside it's very very pretty you can make blankets with this stitch as well i'm not going to show you how to do the hat i'm going to show you how to do this loop stitch so I'll just pop this aside and I'll show you how to do this really easy loopy stitch in your crochet. I'm going to use this mint green yarn. This is a Red Heart brand. It's just a super saver one. So the crochet hook size is a 5.5 or an I9 for this. Now this is just so simple. I'm going to tuck that one in there and take this one from the middle. Now just to show you how to do this, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So the crochet hook I'm using is a 5.5. Now you're going to do your chain. Do your chain any length that you want. If you're doing a blanket, just do the chain the way you want. I'm just going to show you how to do the stitch today. So I'm going to start with a slip knot. And a slip knot is I just wrap it around my fingers. I tuck this end in here and just pull your fingers out and you've made yourself a little knot like that. Now I'm only going to do a chain of 15. I'm only going to I'm going to show you how to do this. So for your chain you just go around your hook and pull it through your stitch. Around your hook and pull it through around your hook and pull it through like this. Now I'm just going to do a sample and show you how to do this loopy stitch. So once you've got your foundation chain, you do your foundation chain whatever length you want. We're going to do the whole chain in a double crochet. That's a, a single crochet if you're in America. And we're going to start in the second chain from the beginning. Don't count that stitch. So we're going to count one, two, and that's where we're going to start. Just go straight through that chain. Try and catch both little parts of that chain stitch. Pull your yarn through 
put your yarn over and come through both those stitches. So the same again, go through your chain. Catch your yarn and pull it through. Put your yarn over your hook and pull it through. We're going to do this all the way to the end. Yarn over through those two stitches. Put your hook through. When you try and catch both those two parts of that chain, it gives you a nice neat edge along the bottom. Yarn over and through. Now the American Red Heart Basic, this Super Saver one, it's the equivalent, it's just a little bit thicker than the UK Double Knitting. I would say it's on a par with a baby Aaron. Now I'm going to do this double crochet all the way to the end. Because we're going to chain one, chain one and turn. Now this is where the fun begins. I'm going to pull some more of my yarn out. So to make the loops, it's really easy. You need to make sure that you've got your yarn coming across your hand this way. Normally when I do crochet, my wool is coming across the top like this. But to form the loop, it needs to go around your finger like this. So make sure you've got it going across the front of your finger like this. Now go through your first stitch. You're going to knock your yarn back behind this one. Twist and pull it through your stitch. Put your yarn over and bring it through these two stitches. And that makes your little loop. I'll show you that again. So we're going to go through our next stitch. You're going to push the yarn to the back, tap it to the back and wrap it around this front and pull it through. And you get like a little twisted double stitch here. That's you making the knot to hold your little loop and pull your yarn through. Just hold your loop down with your with this hand here. So through your stitch and then tap the wool around like that and pull it through to make your loop just drop your loop and through those two stitches as long as you've got the yarn round the front of your finger you'll manage to make that loop now just take the hook to the on top of this yarn here and push it around the back as you make your stitch and through, let your loop go, yarn over and come through those two stitches. So through your stitch, yarn to the front, around the back and pull through, yarn over and through your stitches. We're going to work like that all the way to the end. Each stitch gets a loop. So hook through your stitch, tap that part around 
and pull it through with your stitch. Yarn over and through both stitches. Through your stitch, tap this yarn So tap your yarn around the back and pull through and through your two stitches. It can be just a little bit fiddly to begin with and this is what makes your nice uniform little loops. Once you've got a few rows done you'll see it a little bit better. It is a little bit fiddly to begin with. I know a lot of the tutorials I've seen this looks really really easy. It is a little bit, it is easy but it's a little bit fiddly until you get the hang of it. What you're basically doing, if you were just doing a normal crochet and you would pull this wool here that's going up this way through, all you're doing on this occasion is taking this yarn going this way around first and then pulling your stitch through. That is all you're doing to create that loop is you're going from the front. So hook through your stitch, yarn coming down the front and just tap that wool around with your hook and through and let your loop go. Once you get the hang of this, you'll get faster and it'll be much easier. It's a little, it, it's looking a little bit fiddly because I'm doing this a lot slower so that you can see how to do it. Tap it around to the back and pull it through the stitch. Put your hook through your stitch, your next stitch. Make sure your yarn's at the front. Tap it around to the back and pull it through your stitch. Yarn over and through both those stitches. Through your next stitch. Yarn to the front. Tap it around and pull it to the back and pull it through and like I said if your loops too big just if your loops a little too big just loosen off your stitch a little and then tighten it up with this hand and through both the stitches through your next stitch tap it around and pull it forward and wriggle it through. Now make sure you get this last one here. If you don't catch that last one your work will start to work its way in like that and it won't stay straight. So make sure you catch that last stitch. So around and pull it through. Bring your yarn over and through both those stitches. Now we're going to chain one and turn your work. Now there's all your little line of loops. Just like that. Now the second row this pattern is made up of two rows, so your second row is just a single 
crochet. In the USA, it's called a single crochet. And in the United Kingdom, in the UK, it's called a double crochet. So just put your hook through. Now, the part you're going through is you'll see like a little hole here at each stitch just past the little knot of each loop. So put your hook through that little hole that you can see, pull your yarn through and through both stitches. Now you can see the little, you see the little gaps? Put your hook through, pull your yarn through and finish your stitch. Now this is really, really easy. We're going to do this double crochet all the way along to the end. You always do your loop when the reverse of your project is facing you. If your loops are facing you, you're on a, just your single crochet row. So it's a loopy row and then a single crochet row. A loopy row and a single crochet row. Now this stitch is easily adapted into a pattern if you're doing if you're doing a jacket, you can make rugs, mats, and to make beautiful cushion covers as well. You can integrate this stitch into almost anything. Make sure you get your hook through that tight little bundle at the end for that last stitch. Now we're going to chain one and turn our work. Now it makes a really nice pattern on this side as well. If you're going to make a loopy rug, this is the side that you'll stitch on some non-slip matting if you're going to make a rug. So again, go through your first stitch, just knock that yarn round and pull through and come through both your stitches through your stitch knock it back and around and through your stitches so knock your yarn to the back and hook it through to the front and come through those stitches. And this is what your little loops are going to look like. Now I am going to do a few more rows and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Just remember each second row is just one row of single crochet. So through your stitch Make your loop, push it to the back and around to the front. And through your stitches. Now, as you can see, the more you do this, the easier it becomes. Again, it is, it's really, really pretty. It's a really pretty little stitch. You can make bags like this and purses. There's a whole load of things that you can use this stitch for. It's really, really nice if you make it into a bag as well. If you make toys and if you make a little sheep, you can do this little loopy stitch 
and make yourself a little proper little woolly sheep as well. It's really pretty. And like I've showed you already, that I did my little loopy hat. I did my little loopy baby bonnet. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So I made my little baby bonnet. And all I did was I just did the circle for the bonnet. And then I just used the loopy stitch to do that. And then I put some eyelet lace around here. This lace has a hole in it and you can crochet through it and actually integrate it into your garments that you make. And that's it. That's our little loopy stitch all done. And it's really, really pretty. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please click that subscribe button. There's a little bell button there as well. If you hit that bell button, you'll be notified as a subscriber to my channel when I post another tutorial. Please join me on Facebook. I have a large Facebook group. 18, almost 18,000 other members in that group. So there'll always be someone there to help share your craft. You can have other crafters to talk to. You can post your pictures. You can ask me questions if you like. And I am around. I'm around quite a lot. And I'll see you there. All you need to do is on Facebook search type in my craft group name which I'm putting up here is called Crafty Twints. Now come and join us, it is free to do that. I also have a selling group as well where you can post any craft item that you make, you can sell it for free on this Facebook platform, it's called Crafty Twints 2. So feel free if you are a crafter to use this selling platform for free it's my gift to all my subscribers just to say thank you just to say thank you for subscribing to the channel if you're a crafter and you sell your items then pop them on to crafty twins to the selling page and it's giving you another free outlet where you can sell your items and I don't take any commission at all. You can sell your items on there and whatever you make, you keep. It's that That's just the way I've done it. So I don't take any commission whatsoever. So once again, give this little stitch a try. It's really, really pretty, really, really easy. But thank you once again. Thank you very much for joining me. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.